Hello, beloved. Today, we are going to talk about four ways of obtaining favor from the Lord. It is good to obtain favor from the Lord. When you, you have the favor of the Lord, things become easier, things become simpler for you. You will not use your strength, but the power of God will be with you. The favor of the Lord is always upon you and it will speak for you. Amen. So what kind of ways, what can we do at all to obtain this kind of favor from the Lord? And I have listed four kinds of things that if we apply these things to the Lord, the favor of the Lord is going to speak for us. Amen. So first, I wrote the fear of the Lord. The fear of the Lord. When we read Proverbs chapter 9 verse 10, the Bible said the, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Why is the scripture saying that? Without God, we cannot walk in wisdom. Wisdom comes from above. The Bible said whoever seeks for wisdom should seek it from the Lord who give it easily and simply to the people that seek and ask for it. Therefore, God will give us the wisdom to walk in. Without the wisdom of God, we perish. That's why the scripture is saying in Hosea chapter 4 verses, the Bible said, lack of knowledge, my people perish. Lack of knowledge, my people perish. So we, with the fear of God, we will get the wisdom of God. We will get the knowledge of God, which God will show us for us to walk on the straight line if we if we reject the fear of god we, we we stand to walk on the way of the crooked way therefore we cannot get uh the things or the favor of the lord we use our own strength and our own might to kick things and things become difficult and hard for us the bible said in psalm 25 verse 14 the scripture said the secrets of the lord are revealed to those that fear him the secrets of the lord are revealed to those that fear him so for instance if we fear god if we can be able to stand and fear the Lord, he is definitely going to bring his secrets to us. We, we will be so lucky to receive the secrets of the Lord, the mind of the Lord, the knowledge of the Lord. So when we fear the Lord, we will receive the secret things from him. And the Bible also said in Psalm 33 verse 18, the Bible said the eyes of the Lord is on those that fear him the eyes of the lord are always on those that fear him so one the secret to obtain favor from the lord is to fear him because if we fear the lord the eyes of the lord are always on you the eyes of the lord are always shining on you and it will direct you to our path so the secret is to fear the lord and i also wrote to the love of god the love of God. The scripture said in Romans chapter 8 verse 28, the scripture said, For we know that all things work together for good for those that only love the Lord. For those that love the Lord, all things will work together for those that love the Lord. So if we love the Lord, if we make sure that God see that he is the number one priority in our life, God is a jealous God. He has to see that we, we are coming to him not because of things that we want to obtain from him, not because of things that we are seeking him to do, but we are coming to him with, uh, with our whole heart. We are coming to him compassionately. We are coming to him not depending on things that we believe and think that through God we will get, but we are coming to him because we love him. Then he will also make sure that all things will work together for good for those that love the Lord. He will also make sure that all things work together for good for us that love him him hallelujah are we loving god because of the things we see or because of the things we believe that if we love him we will receive from him do we go to the lord with our heart do we go to the lord because of things we are asking him to do or do we love him compassionately unless god see that he's the number one unless god see that he is above our husbands unless god see that he is above our, our our wives unless god see that he is above our children unless god see that he is above the money unless god see that he is above the job then he, he, will, he will know that he, he, he has been able to obtain us. He has been able to win our heart. God is looking for our heart. A heart that will love him compassionately. A heart that will love him. A heart that will seek him compassionately. No matter what the person goes through, God is going to be God. God is going to be the num number one priority. So the one secret of obtaining favor from the Lord, again, is the love of God. God. So we have to let God see that 
uh, we are coming to him because we love him we are serving him because we love him but we are not serving him or we are not coming to him because we need some things from him so the secret number two is obedient to the lord obedient to the lord family if, if we say just in our mouth that we obey god but we do not do the statutes the commandment that god is asking us to do the directions that god is bringing towards us to do then we do not fear god we subject to our physical fathers we subject to our physical fathers we, we become obedient to them when they say sleep we sleep when they they tell us do not go there we stop and don't go there but what are we doing to god do we obey Obey the rules do we obey the statutes and the commandment of God the Bible said in James chapter 1 verse 22 the Bible said let's not be the hearers only but be the doers of the world let's not be the hearers only for instance right now we are listening to the word of God so many words of God are coming up we are just listening to it but we are forbidden to be the doers of it unless we be the doers of the Lord unless we be the doers of of the work of God what God is commanding us to do for that the favor of, of the Lord is going to come upon us let, let me read a scripture here in Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 11 the Bible is telling us to beware not to forget the commandment of the Lord the scripture is telling us to beware not to uh, forget the commandment of the Lord we when we read the same thing in Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 1 the Bible is also talking about us how to observe the word of the Lord and to do it is telling us the ways and how to observe the status the commandment the commitment of the word of the lord to do it we have to commit to the word we have to believe in the word work with the word sleep with the word say the word and be the doers of the word we don't have to say it just in our mouths is sick we don't have to say it in on our lips but our heart have been uh, divided from the lord our heart we have rejected rejected the lord no we have to be the doers of the lord if we love god and we truly want to obtain favor from the lord we have to be a person who is obedient to the laws of god a person who becomes obedient to the voice of god a person who become obedient to the word of the lord and our days will be numbered we will be blessed our days will be numbered so the second way of obtaining the favor from the lord is the trust in the lord the trust in the lord without trusting the lord the bible said for those who comes to him who have to believe that he is and he is the rewarder for those that diligently seek him so without the trust in the lord we cannot obtain favor from the lord when we read the scripture in jeremiah chapter 17 verse 7 the bible said blessed is he whose trust is in the lord and who hopes in his glory blessed is he who trusts in the lord he did not say curse is he who trusts in the lord but he said blessed is he who trusts in the lord when god see our trust in him when god see our trust our hope in him he will make sure that he, he will prove himself to us how we see God is how he proved himself to us. So if we trust God for anything, if we believe in God for anything, he will make sure that he will never be a liar. But he will make sure that his, his ways are never void. He will make sure that he accomplishes his ways upon our life and whatever we are trusting him to do in our life will be accomplished. That is what the, 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 the word of the Lord is telling us. When we read that scripture in Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 7, it talks blessing on those that trust the Lord. He said we will be like a river, a tree on the river, blah, blah, blah. So many things there. When we sit down and study the, that word, it talks about a person who trusts in the Lord. How that person's life is going to be blessed. How that person's life is going to be nourished. So today, I'm going to end here. The four things I talked about, I talked about. About one the fear of the Lord the fear of the Lord and the love of the Lord and the obedience of the Lord and the fourth one is the trust of the Lord the trust of the Lord let's fear God let's trust God let's be the obedient to the world hallelujah and let's love the Lord above all things let's love the Lord let God see the love in us and he will obtain the favor we are asking him to do when we apply these things i believe that god is going to bring his favor onto our life may the peace of god be with you amen